Tumor cells invade through extracellular matrices by forming actin-rich structures called invaderpodia, which contain the transmembrane matrix metalloproteinase MT1-MMP. As Philippe Chavrier from the Institut Curie in Paris explains, cells usually store this protease in late endosomes, before delivering it to the cell surface when they start to invade their surroundings. Some time ago we, we discovered that a multi-protein complex called the exotic complex is actually required for controlling the exocytosis of the protease to the surface. So with that in mind, we started to uh, wonder what could work together with the exocytosis complex in mediating the delivery of the protease and to run an MP to invade a polyautoplasm brain. Led by graduate student Pedro Montero, Chavrier and colleagues performed a series of yeast 2 hybrid screens and found that two exorcist subunits, SEC3 and XO84, interacted with a protein called WASH. As part of the WASH complex, this protein helps regulate endosome sorting and trafficking, controlling the formation of endosome tubules by activating the actin nucleating ARP23 complex on the endosome surface. So we thought we had something interesting there. We confirm the interaction between the exotic complex and WASH, and we could colocalize the two complexes on MT1 and MT containing endosomes in tumor cells. WASH localized to punctate endosomal subdomains containing ARP23, actin, and the actin binding protein Cortactin. The exorcist, meanwhile, localized to neighboring and partially overlapping subdomains. When we move down the complexes of the exosomes and wash, the endosomes collapse, and we have a strong depletion of the endosomes at the periphery of the plasma membrane. They form big aggregates in the center of the cells. They start to tubulate, confirming that wash and wash mediated actin assembly on endosomes have something to do with tubule formation and tubule fission. Montero et al. found that in invasive breast cancer cells, the WASH complex associated with MT1-MMP-containing endosomes docked near the plasma membrane of Invaderpodia as they started to degrade the underlying matrix. While docked, the endosomes formed tubules that could potentially connect them to the plasma membrane and allow delivery of MT1-MMP to the cell surface. To test this idea, Montero et al. added a fluorescent tracer to the extracellular medium. We could see that after adding the tracer, the endosomes become filled with the fluorescence of marker. So indicating that indeed the lumen of the endosomes is connected to the particular medium. Fewer MT1-MMP-containing endosomes were docked as invaderpodial plasma membranes in the absence of WASH or exorcist subunits. Montero et al. therefore looked at the effect on MT1-MMP exocytosis, using a version of the protease fused to pH Lorin a GFP variant whose fluorescence is quenched in the acidic environment of late endosomes, but permitted when exposed to the neutral pH of the extracellular space. We knock down wash of the exosis complex and we see a reduction in the amount of the protease which is delivered from the endosome to the embedded podial plasma membrane, indicating that indeed these two complexes are required for delivering the protease to the surface and to the embedded podial. As a result, Tumor cells lacking WASH or the exorcist complex failed to degrade gelatin or invade through matrogel, both of which are thought to mimic basement membranes. In addition, knocking down WASH or exorcist subunits inhibited cancer cells' invasion through a fibrous collagen gel resembling the interstitial extracellular matrix. So in two types of environment, matrogel and collagen, we see this requirement for the exorcist complex and the WASH complex for invasion. In contrast to the punctate invaderpodia that form in cells plated on gelatin, cells invading through 3D collagen matrices assemble linear invaderpodia that run alongside the surrounding collagen fibres. In keeping with its requirement for invasion through collagen matrices, WASH was associated with MT1-MMP-containing endosomes that docked along the length of linear invaderpodia. On movies, it's very clear that uh, wash-positive endosomes come into contact with the linear in the podia, and again, based on the trait of the pH in MT1-MMP fusion protein, 
we could really observe in the cytosis, so this anti one and MP positive endosome, at the level of this inner endotopia. And if we knock down WASH or if we knock down the endosis complex, we have a strong reduction in the endotopic event when delivery of anti one and MP through linear endotopia. The WASH positive endosomes docked at the plasma membrane for several minutes, allowing the exocytosed MT1 MMP to remodel the collagen fibres. The endosomes are open to the extracellular environment throughout this docking period because shifts in the extracellular pH alter the fluorescence of pH luarin in the endosomal lumen. So based on the fact that the wash complex can control actin polymerization on the endosomes, so this actin triggers some deformation on the endosomes and makes little tubules. And with the help of the endosis complex and for the other proteins, this tubule could be the site where the endosomes dock and fuse with the plasma membrane. And this will allow the delivery of MP1 and MP to the endodopodia as a site of contact between the plasma membrane and the matrix. The actin network assembled on endosomes by WASH and the ARP23 complex may help stabilize the tubular connections to the plasma membrane while limiting the diffusion of MT1 MMP out of the endosome in order to control remodeling of the extracellular matrix. A cell which is sitting in the basement membrane might have a different dynamics as the cell which is migrating through collagen. So we could imagine that once they are doing invasive migration in collagen, the system could be much more dynamic. So we are actually uh, trying to look at how this is dependent on the type of environment the cells are parenting. In the meantime, you can learn more about how endosomal wash and exorcist complexes control exocytosis of MT1 MMP at Invaderpodia in the paper by Montero et al., published in the December 23, 2013 issue of the Journal of Cell Biology. Thank you.